some great stuff to trade or sell. You got serum? A little. Show me what you got. Handsome Roy is back. And with a cute little boy, too. Can't introduce us. Charity, this is Innocence. Innocence, this is Charity, the great lady of Chatelair. The great lady. <laughs> don't listen to him, boy. I used to be a whore. Nothing more. But I don't keep my ears plugged. That's kind of why we came to see you. We'd like to know what happened to some former members of the militia. Former militia? His family, I suppose. Poor kid. Pretty much all of them were arrested in a single night. No one knows what happened to them after. I imagine there's a kind of a resistance movement seeing what the government's like. Kid wants to get in touch with them. Hmm. You know, they're a secret society. And a secret society is, well, secret, you see? They don't exactly carry signs saying who they are. It'll take time. And I need a favor. A friend of mine disappeared. And she's not the kind of girl anyone files a missing person on, if you see what I mean. She left a while back to go to Tierville, and she never came back. Find her, boy, and I'll find the resistance for you. In the shopping district, huh? All right, I'll take care of it.
you know. But we're gonna need information, and I figure we're gonna need charity for that. Hey, you, sir. Listen, do you think you could help me out? Problem? <laughs> you can say that again, but I think you, you're the guy for the job. From what I've seen, you're not the kind scared of duking it out with scumbags. I'm not planning on making a career out of it. Of course, of course, but it's for a good cause, see? There's this gang of junkies that's set up in my workshop. I can't go there anymore. And if I can't work, well, I can't earn a living. I'll pay you, of course. I get the impression you're not exactly short on junkies around here. Used to be they kept a low profile, but when the army started checking everyone going around the shadow lair, they figured out pretty quick it was a field day for them. The soldiers are too busy standing around at checkpoints on the main streets to go chasing junkies around the slums. So this bunch of bums set up in my place, in my workshop, and there's not a thing I can do. But you'll help me, right? Please. So I get a bunch of addicts out of your place, then what? Then I'll give you some serum, of course. And if you ever need a hand, you just let me know. Turnabout and all that, right? All right, I'll go see those squatters. Thank you, thank you so much. I owe you. And actually, I'm the craftsman around here. Roy, wandering evictor, later. Take me for a fool, Chance. I can see you've been taking it again. You're looking for trouble? Last time wasn't enough. It, what? <laughs> Who are you? The name's Roy. I was sent here to get the workshop back to its rightful owner. I knew it. The perfect hangout, huh? Please, don't hurt them. They're just kids. They look old enough to stand and walk to the door. Unless maybe they want to crawl. But they don't know what they're doing. That drug makes them that way. They have no idea what they're doing. To other people and themselves. You mean they got forced into taking drugs and staying in this place? Wow, how horrible. I'm so upset I'm gonna tell old Frugality to give up his workshop. I'm sure he'll understand. I may even kick his head in, seeing what the situation's like. There's no need to laugh at me. That's obviously not what I mean. I'm just trying to show you who's really responsible for the situation. Please! They're just kids! Go after the ones who take advantage of them instead! So basically, you want me to take out their dealer? I don't really see how that's any of my business. They're squatting here to hide, and because their dealer's nearby. If you cut off their supply, you'll be creating a long-term answer to your problem, and you'll be saving lives. All 
right. I'll go find the dealer. Just don't make me regret it. Oh, thank you. Believe me, they'll react fast. I'm a nurse, and I know the effects of all these drugs only too well. Their dealer's called Serenity, I think. He has a place in the shanty. I'll show you on your map. All right, I'll go pay him a visit.
I see technomancers are doing raids downtown. too much. If you don't know who you're dealing with, you got no business here. I know who I'm dealing with. That's why I came to see you, to ask you to stop selling your shit to Chance and his gang. Ask, being a euphemism, if you even know what that means. A feminism, huh? Funny. I don't know what you're talking about. But now I'm the one asking. I'm asking you to leave real fast, or your head will be asking to get kicked in. If you even know what that means. Okay, I see we've got a bit of a misunderstanding going on here. What I can do, if needed, is get the message across by taping it to my foot, and then shoving said foot right up your ass until the info gets permanently printed into your brain. And if it's still not clear to you after that, well, we can try violence. Whoa, hang on a sec, dude. Okay, okay. We got a misunderstanding here. You're right. You show up like that and talk to me about a gang of kids, as if they're the only ones come around to see me. But now I think about it a bit. I think I know who you mean. Chance, yeah. The kids who hang out in the old guy's workshop. I see who you mean now. And you know what? No problem. Not one more hit for them. It's over. The kids are blacklisted. Not like I forced them, though. They came looking for me like everybody else. But next time, don't worry. I'll send him right back to Mom. I suppose his mother sent you, huh? Anyway, don't worry about it, all right? Nothing's gonna happen to her. Better not. If anything does, or if I see those kids strung out again, I know where to find you. Problem? Just questions for now. Hmm. Shoot. You ever have anything to do with the Resistance? What for? I don't give a shit about politics. And they ain't into my line of fine consumer goods. They like their good little fanatics to have a clear head. Especially their boss. Thinking it'd do them some good to do some now and again, though. Be the tight ass? For someone who never met him, you sure seem to know a lot about him. In my business, you always find out about things. You gotta know what and who you're dealing with. And Marco, I heard it don't make a difference if you're on his side or not. He's just one mean dude. So the best thing to do, when it's like that, is stay out of it. I keep my distance, and I run my company. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, you do that.
thank you. I'd never be back in my workshop if it hadn't been for you. You saved my life, you know. Surely you'll return the favor. I went for a non-violent approach. At least with them. They decided to leave the place on their own. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't look real happy. They even threatened me. But at least they left. Guess I should think about getting some kind of weapon. I gotta be able to protect myself. Might be a good idea, yeah. The scumbags around here may not be hard to impress, but if you don't show a few teeth, you'll sleep outside again and they'll just walk all over you. Ah, you got that right. I'll go equip myself. What's the deal with this place? How'd it become the hangout for all the addicts in Shadowlair? Uh, not all of them, really. But if I told you this part of the city used to be really happy and lively, well, that'd be a happy and lively pile of crap. I've been living here for 40 years now, and it's only ever been a slum. THE slum, like everyone calls it. Even if none of the other parts of town are all that great either. Anyway, it still found a way to go downhill. People weren't real happy, that's for sure, but they at least didn't go getting all violent like that. They got sold a dream, and they were let down. And, uh, who sold it to them? Oh, lots of folks. Same ones that promised everybody water, a place in the shade, or even just a job to make life easier. You know. The same one who promised them a future if they joined the army and told everybody one day we'll all go back to Earth. And of course there's those that try to get you to believe everything will be better as soon as you stick a needle in your arm. But those guys are smart. Half the time, what they say is true. One of them hangs out here, apparently. Don't ask me where, but the slums is turf. And seeing as the army doesn't come around that often, pretty much all the junkies are here. I thought you couldn't stand those addicts. Eh, sometimes I get carried away, say things I shouldn't. But you got my workshop back for me, and that's all I needed. I got nothing against those kids, to be honest. You can't really say they ever had it easy. Back in the day, we weren't exactly well off, but at least we had hope. Since you've been living here, you must have heard about Charity, I guess. Of course. Great woman. I don't even want to think what things would be like around here without her. I suppose so. It's not what you think. She's got good company, that's for sure, but that's not all she does, you know? Really? It may seem like an old-fashioned idea, but she's a good person. She helps people. And has enough influence so things run pretty much smoothly, even though the militia disappeared. It's sure not the source or its soldiers who are gonna do that for us. Hooker or not, it's people like her that we need, not them. Maybe Wisdom and his guard dog should try selling their bodies to see what it's like. They could do with a change of perspective. I mean, don't go repeating that, of course. You tend to relax a bit when the cat's not around. No problem. I can't even think of how to fit it into a conversation. Later. Hi, what can I do for you? Later. Beware, brothers. Magical men full of anger are patrolling the neighborhood. 